away. The uh, tour has reached stage three from Al Ain to Jebel Hafeet. Destination Green Mountain and the first opportunity for the general classification contenders to spread their wings and go for the overall of the climb of Jebel Hafeet. 179 kilometers in length. But first up, an opportunity for the breakaway to go clear again. And on today's stage, 75% of the stage breakaways from the previous day were clear again. This time, Charles Planet of Nova Nordis took maximum points early on, ahead of black jersey wearer at Stepan Kurianov to take himself in to the intermediate sprints classification. But just over half distance, the bunch were not taking any chances at all. No repeats of yesterday's echelons in the crosswinds, and the break was neutralized. And we saw, for a few moments at least, an Entente Cordial in the peloton as the mountain approached. Previous winner there, just resting towards the back of the peloton. And a tailwind ushered the riders ever towards the bottom of the climb. Jebel Hafeet, of course, 10.8 kilometers in length. 5.4% average graded, but a fantastic move by the Russian at the foot of the climb to take the final intermediate points of the day. And that would in fact move him into the jersey and the green jersey as well. But then onto the climb itself. The early pace was set by Pat Bevin of CCC. A quite astonishing ride by the New Zealander. And he took clear with him a couple of other riders. And that meant that it was the job of team at Jumbo Visma in the form of Lawrence de Plus to set the tempo at the front. An amazing ride by the young Belgian, catching Diego Ulissi, but it wasn't to be a day for Vincenzo Nibali. Dropping back at about half distance before Dan Martin of the home team UAE, surge clear, taking clear with him Primoz Roglic, and a late surge after initially being dropped by Alejandro Valverde. He managed to join the leading quartet, David Godou of France, the young 22-year-old looking very, very good. Also there, Emmanuel Buchmann of Bora. But there was the moment that the rainbow bands joined the leaders and he was to round the final bend to set his season up. Back-to-back -back victories on Jebel Hafid for Alejandro Valverde, the world champion. But he could not shake off Primoz Roglic, who stays in the red jersey. And so there we the go, winner. Alejandro Valverde, twice the victorious on the Jebel Hafid, victory number one and looking dangerous. Valverde tops the rankings ahead of Primoz Roglic and at David Godu, Emmanuel Bookman in fourth, just ahead of Dan Martin. So, another day in red for Primoz Roglic. There we go, Roglic tops the rankings ahead of Alejandro Valverde, David Godu moves up to third, tomorrow destination, Hatter down.